This is how tourists could see the capital. From now on, there'll be regular sightseeing trips from Battersea Helipad. Albert Hall, Hyde Park, over on the left. We were taken up to see right, so what it's like. This company now has a two-year contract for trips out of Battersea. It's really just a, an amazing experience and, and uh, I uh, wanted to bring that to the people of London, that's all. And that could mean 15 sightseeing flights a day. There's no doubt the views from up here are absolutely spectacular, but it's not cheap. £200 for a 20-minute flight and there will be some concerns. In January, a helicopter hit this tower on its way into Battersea Helipad. Oh, mate, your car's on fire! Get out of the car! Two people, including the pilot, died. Since then, helicopters over the capital have been under intense scrutiny. This afternoon, the tempest was on at the Globe Theatre. In the skies above, there was a helicopter. They can disrupt performances here, and extra flights have increased anxiety. Single-engine helicopters have to travel along the Thames because they're not allowed to go over residential areas. But I think both residents and users of Bankside and the South Bank would like to see a limit put on the numbers that are travelling. The sightseeing company says it will try and avoid performances at the Globe, and it will operate responsibly. It's uh, well within the... Uh rules, the regulations for flying over London. Yes, we're going to be, be the intention is to increase the number of movements because that's, that's our, our business, but, um, but it's, it's not going to increase above a level that's already been there before. An official investigation into the Vauxhall crash will now look at the regulation of helicopter flights. That's expected back in a few months' time. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.